everyone, Tiny It's Chibis here, and we are back with Genshin Impact. So, I've been thinking. <sighs> or rather, I thought of it because I was of reading a thing, and then I was like, I should do a thing. And but then shouldn't I was like, you around here? Finally found it. Coffee? Are, Are you... you? Oh, Madam Faruzan, and here I thought you would have finished this round by now. Faruzan, Kabe! Oh, looks like Layla's already done! I didn't expect that you and I would find a disruptor at the same time. How are the other contestants doing? Tainari and Hakai forfeited, while Sino and Layla are already done! You two are the only ones left! Uh... Huh? That's weird. Didn't you start digging really early on? <gasps> yes, I kept digging, but instead of finding a disruptor, I found a ruin. I fell down pretty deep, and it was completely dark in there. It took me quite some time to unlock the various mechanisms and return to the surface. That's... actually really impressive. Where is it? Finishing a week's worth of trials in such a short time. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, Madam Faruzan. What about you? Why are you so late? I encountered a lot of lost desert foxes along the way, and I brought them to the outskirts of the competition zone. When I came back, I was absolutely parched. And then I blacked out. Probably from the heat, you know? When I woke up, it was already night. I used the last of my strength to come here. The most curious reason indeed. Ah, uh, but are you sure you're all right? It sounds like you were in an incredibly dangerous situation. You said you were familiar with the desert, but the way you handle problems... It does feel rather at odds with your title as a genius. Uh, <laughs> it was problematic, but that had nothing to do with me being a genius. It was my decision. The way I did things wasn't optimal, but I wouldn't have been comfortable not doing it either. My conscience would have weighed on me. <laughs> Youths these days, each stranger than the next. But back to the main issue at hand. Since we are both very certain that this is where the final leyline disruptor is, let's dig it up then. Well, this is indeed it. Of that there is no doubt. But how shall we count the score this time? <sighs> What is it, youngster? You seem relieved. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that this round's finally over. There shouldn't be any more innocent creatures getting wrapped up in danger. As for the points, I guess we can draw lots again later. I can't think of anything better. All right. In that case, let's all head back to Aru Village. Paimon thinks you'll both need some water and rest. Oh. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Like a hawk. I was like, I see you in the background. I want you both. Because eel meat is the fucking hardest ass shit to get. Yeah? Lily, I love you. I truly do, but you're kind of being a bit of a pest. You know that, right? She's such a sweet child, but... <laughs> I really have nowhere to put my laundry, so... What's the hurry? Have to settle with that. Actually... What time did I start? I keep doing this. I'm just gonna aim for 40. 
Looks like the second round is over. I wonder who is faster, Kabe or Madame Farazan? Huh? Where's Madame Farazan? She went to get water. She'll be back shortly. We basically arrived at the same time, so we'd like to draw lots again. <sighs> you get caught up in something so easily, like drawing lots. I'm not caught up in anything! Don't make it sound like I take pleasure in having bad luck! Really? Then should I say that you have a curious affinity for drawing lots? Um, I'll go get the box and slips of paper for the lots. Please, wait a moment. Oh, here we go again. Let's see how I fare. I got it. Did you see that? I won. Congratulations. Looks like Kaveh's luck's taking a turn for the better. <gasps> Finally, after all this time. <gasps> It looks like you've been rewarded for your tribulations in the desert. This round's points are yours. <laughs> and with that, our second round is done. I think I hate the new. Sino, Layla, and Kabe um, are a victorious contestant. She let him win. As for the current standings, let me see. Sino and Layla both have four points, putting them both in first place. The rest in descending order are Tainari. Farazan, Kave, and Hakai. The next round will be the final one. Please rest up before then, everyone. Then how the fuck does Kave win? I heard that some stalls at the Wisdom Gala are debuting new games. So feel free to drop by if you're interested. Otherwise, see you next round. Hmm. Oh, but what, what was I saying two minutes ago? Oh yeah, I'm reading like a fan fiction and it's kind of meta and stuff, so I was like thinking about it and I'm like, man, I should make a meta fan fiction too. But instead of like, you know, I guess they're more angsty or whatever. I'm being more, like more in the romantic sense. Kind of, well, let, I don't know. Would it be romantic or would it be more horror? Because it'll be kind of like doki doki. Just a smidge. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird cross shenanigans. Fuck, I should have closed my door. Thought I heard a fly. I hate bugs. I mean, I don't hate bugs as much as Duma does, but I do hate bugs. And I think this part should be like... Um, it feels like something's been on your mind this entire time. But, uh, ooh. Uh... Traveler, Paimon, I finally found you. You're being finally? Did something happen? Don't you feel like there's something off about this year's academia extravaganza? Mm -hmm. When Candace and I were at the cafe earlier, we might have caught sight of some mercs on business. Thing is, they were disguised as tourists here to shop. But no disguise can mask the stench of blood. Just from their suspicious looks, I bet they do dirty work like kidnapping or assassinations. We eavesdropped on them for a while. Their target seems to be someone called Sachin. Sachin? Isn't that the person who Karina mentioned during the opening ceremony? He's apparently the sponsor behind the competition prizes and the diadem of knowledge, but he hasn't shown himself at all. <sighs> Sounds like a rich person, all right. It makes sense now. The Aramites have been struggling to make ends meet recently, so a lot of groups have been doing private work that involves the rich. In their words, one gig sets you up for half a year. 
Just one job like this nets them enough mora to take it easy for a while. The extravaganza has brought many tourists to Sumeru City all at once. So it's likely that they took advantage of the bustle to sneak in. Dia and I wanted to directly capture them, but they were on guard and made some excuse to slip away. I would have tied them up if it wouldn't have caused a scene. Who's legally supposed to take care of this kind of thing? The Matra or the Corps of Thirty? Hmm. If Sino were here, he'd definitely get involved. <gasps> Why don't we head over to the Academia and tell a Matra? Thanks a million, you two. Not at all. It was coincidence on our part as well. Yeah, don't sweat it. The Eremite's reputation is gonna get even worse if these scumbags succeed. Hmm, but this is Sumeru City. Candace and I don't have as much freedom to act here, so we're leaving this in your hands. Should you require our aid, come find us at the cafe. Oh, God, you scared me. Like, I'm cause like I'm I'm reading. Really, I'm going back to like I have too much shit to read. Something's bugging you. Is it the extravaganza? Cause. Paimon's starting to think that there's more than meets the eye here, too. Oh, too many games, too many fucking things to do. Uh, I wish I could. Thinking like this isn't doing anything. Like, shadow clone myself. Let's just go find the mantra. If I could shadow clone myself, that would be so good. Because. Because each clone is their own individual, but at the same time. They both gain knowledge, and thus, when they come back together, they all share the knowledge that they have shared. It's not the same. So I could have one reading the mo like books. I could have <laughs> one playing the games and doing their recordings. <laughs> oh shit! I remember doing this shit. Sorry, I was like, hey! fuck. We investigated Siraj with Arav, wasn't it? Let's go talk to him. Sorry, I was panicking because last time I did that shit, I fell through the floor and I went all the way to the bottom because I was like, ah, it's fine. And then I was like, no, no, it's not. So I had to go back Hello, up. Hello, both. It was it's been a while. Do you have any issues to report? Someone's planning to kidnap Sachin. Goodness. Though I suppose it's not all that surprising. The growing popularity of the extravaganza has given him quite the reputation boost as its sponsor. He's seen as one of these super rich types. Well, since he's got a target on his back now, shouldn't you send some people to protect him? To tell you the truth, we've thought about doing just that. However, Sachin apparently prefers to spend most of his time out doing field work. And hardly ever comes back to Sumeru City. No one has been able to contact him. Our only lead is something he once said. <clears throat> Each time the Interdarshan Championship is held, I will be watching from close by to choose a suitable person to inherit my estate. Assuming he remains committed to that promise, then he must be right here in the city somewhere. I suspect that the Aramites in question must have heard about that as well, and decided to come here and try their luck. So, they shouldn't know where Sachin is either, right? I would assume not. Anyway, Mahamatra Saino is still on vacation, so I'll handle this. Don't you worry. A couple of kidnappers aren't gonna get very far in Sumeru City these days. I have my ways of forcing them out into the open. All of that said, if you're interested in Sachin's story, why don't you try tracking him down as well? The sooner we ascertain his whereabouts, the quicker we can act to ensure his safety. I mean, you could task all the Matra and the whole Corps of Thirty with someone's protection, but if the client doesn't show themselves, there's nothing we can do to help them. Fair point. Guess we should start searching for him too, but where should we start? Itchy. None, I'm afraid. He's never committed any crimes or broken academic protocol, so we don't have a very detailed file on him. I've heard that Alhatham has now stepped down from his post as acting Grand Sage and is back to being the scribe again. Maybe it's worth checking to see if he knows anything. Good idea! Okay, we'll head back 
to the extravaganza venue and see if we can find him. Are you sure you found the correct Samantha? Which part am I on? I'm sorry, I'm just like... Excuse me. No. Internship. Okay, so I'm still on the fucking second part. I didn't know you were I such just, a like sucker. I, like, it's so fucking... I don't have the attention span to deal with this shit. I'm like, I got 20 different things I want to do. <sighs> hey, Nilu! Have you seen Alhatham anywhere? Alhatham? Why? What is it? We're trying to track down someone and we need him to pull up some records for us. Oh, I see. Sorry, I don't know where he went. He's always the first to leave after the competition ends, and he never tells anyone where he'll be going. Huh. Yeah, actually, that sounds about right for him. Hmm. Let me think. Um. To be honest, he doesn't seem very interested in the extravaganza, so he probably doesn't stick around longer than he has to. To him, being a commentator is just extra work he was roped into. Do you guys know of any places he'd go after work? Uh. There's still one more round to go. Would he really go to a tavern in the middle of the competition? Oh, here's a thought. Maybe he just went straight home. I said home Kaima first, so I wanted to see. remembers that his house isn't that far from here, so we might as well check it out. It's always good to have a second account, just so you can check the other responses. But yeah, I do... In my actual account, I mentioned home, so... Ah! Can I just teleport to his house? Where is his house? I am being lazy as fuck because I can <coughs> and I want to be. I think it's right there. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered something. Because I got stuck in a loop. Because I kept going, oh, trying to check out his house. And it was, like, stupid. No answer? Uh, maybe no one's home. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom. Are you in? We need your help with something. Oh, it's you two? Oh, Kabe, you're home. Come on in. I'll get the door for you. First knock, we thought no one was home. Well, I can't be too careful. If someone from the academia came here looking for all Haytham, and I opened the door for them without thinking, before long the whole city would know that I'm living here. You're pretty conscientious about this, huh? So, what happens if someone comes inside looking for him while you're at home? It's fine, as long as I stay in my own room. Anyway, why would someone just barge in here looking for him? Most people have better things to do. What do you think? Who knows what he does in his free time? All that matters to me is that he's out of the house. Ah, 
I wouldn't call it that. He's just incapable of saying anything pleasant at all. I told him how the second round went. I won the lot draw, remember? Because of good karma, of course. My luck's on the rise. But him, being him... You wouldn't believe what he said after I was done talking! You're always quick to remind me that you're my upperclassman, and yet you do not problem-solve in the manner becoming of an upperclassman. This begs the question of why we attach prestige to seniority at all. What does he mean, manner becoming of an upperclassman? What, am I supposed to earn the title of upperclassman now? And he didn't stop there. He said, I'd encourage you to reflect on why you've ended up having to rely on luck every round. Frankly, it's incomprehensible to me how you've managed to make it to this age without acknowledging the proverbial elephant in the room of your life. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like something Alhatham would say. I've had it with him. Every time I talk to him, it's the same way. He finds a way to infuriate me every single time. <sighs> Anyway, the disdain is very much mutual between us, so I'll be moving out as soon as possible. I'm actually packing my things right now. He'll have to get used to doing his own cleaning and tidying from now on. See those perfectly hung paintings on the walls? They're coming with me, too. <laughs> if his life wasn't utterly devoid of artistic sensibility already, it certainly will be after today. Wait, you're moving out already? But the competition isn't even over yet! How can you afford it? Well, obviously I can't just yet. I'm just pecking early to get ahead of the game. I've got my new place picked out already. The moment I have my hands on the prize money, I'm going to buy it and move my things right in. It'll take me three days tops to move out of here for good. I now know what I have to do to achieve this goal. No matter what happens in the third round, I will win. I will emerge triumphant. You'll see. Well, we'll What's be the problem? for you. Okay. But Sure, you'll be all right. Hmm? Unless the last in what way? to be more than four points. Layla said that she thinks you'll get caught up in internal conflict. Meaning what exactly? Oh, don't tell me you think I have serious personality flaws too. Oh, we didn't say that. But think about it. You say you want to win, but you also turned Faro's on down when she offered to give you her points. Plus, you took it upon yourself to help those desert foxes. Wait, what's so unusual about all that? I gave you my reasons. I would have felt guilty otherwise. Where's the conflict in that? <sighs> well, when you put it like that... Yes, why indeed? It's a good question. I guess it's just in my nature. Plus, if I just did nothing, then there'd be no escaping the blame if something bad came of it later down the line. But thinking like that all the time must make your life so exhausting. Not to mention that by helping out, you put yourself at risk. Fainting in the middle of the desert, for example. Was that really worth it? It's complicated. I... Look, let's maybe leave this conversation for another time. What was it you needed Alhatham's help with, anyway? Sachin. Huh. He did actually mention a Sachin recently. I remember he brought a few documents home that day. He was thinking out loud as he looked through them, making some notes and doodling as he went. He even suggested that I should take a look, but I didn't. Uh, give me a moment. Let me go find them. Ah, this is the one. Here, take it. With taking liberties? He's certainly okay with helping himself to my beer whenever he pleases. And anyway, he did ask me if I wanted to read his notes. I didn't see the point at the time, so he just left them on the side. He doesn't leave documents lying around unless he's okay with other people reading them. It's fine, I promise. Cool, if you say so. Okay, let's see what he's got on the cheese.
Investigate the document table. Where is it? I'm using one hand, as you can tell. Words, 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 words. So many fucking words. Scroll down. I'm doing this so that way you guys can read it. If you want to. Because I don't want to sit there and read it. So much words. Says the person reading a book. And the fan fiction. And another, and a manga. And I'm thinking about downloading a free trial to listen to an audio book. So, yeah. I'm reading, I, like, there's a difference though. Just, like I said, Genshin has a tendency to just a word vomit a lot. I'm and, getting a headache. So, uh, to sum up, Sachin put the academia in charge of managing his estate and went off to do research, right? He even said that if he really liked one of the contestants, he wouldn't just give them a reward, but his entire estate as well. Oh, that must be worth heaps and heaps of mora. What? Are you serious? All of Sachin's wealth, that's... More than hey. I could spend in a lifetime, surely. Heck, if I got chosen, I'd be able to pay off all my debts, then buy a new place, and still have cash to burn. I could build another palace of Alcazar's array. Except this time, I'd make it ten times bigger. Oh, then there's that new project in Port Ormos, of course. The bridge renovation. To do it properly would take upwards of... Hey! Hey! Snap out of it! You're getting way ahead of yourself there, mister! Uh, uh, you're right. First, I need to focus on winning and moving out of this place. Huh? Wait a moment. There's a loose slip of paper tucked in between these pages. Did all hate them write this? It looks like he was jotting ideas down as he was thinking things over. Hmm. Let's see. Um, two phrases have been circled. Sachin, dead or alive, unknown. And diadem of knowledge. Some of this stuff is just plain incomprehensible. Is this written in some other language? Let me see. Huh. I recognize this script. Hmm, give me a second. <clears throat> Lofty ideals may provide no defense at all against nihilism, but perhaps little decisions can. That's a rough translation, anyway. I can't guarantee it's 100% accurate. Hmm? There's another, smaller line of text underneath. Uh, huh. Why would he bring that up? Wow! It's so cool that you can actually read this script! We worked together on a project once when we were students. The title was Decoding the Runes and Architectural Philosophy of the Ruins of King Deshret's Civilization. I had to familiarize myself a little with this script at the time. Oh, interesting. So, any idea what Alhatham meant by all this? <laughs> Who knows? The way his mind works is one of the great mysteries of the world. Fair enough. Well, guess we've learned all we can here. <sighs> yeah, he better catch those crooks. But until then, uh, let's just head out for a stroll. <laughs> All right. Oh, it, it's just. It would be better to just zoom through the time. I hate. <laughs> I don't know, I got like a bad feeling. Like, I don't know, something's up. You know? I don't know why I feel like something's up. I just feel like something's up. But then again, something is all up, ain't it? Ugh. Also, that that meta fanfiction I was reading it was only done at chapter one, so it's not done. So I was like, "Damn it!" 
I hate it when I find fan fiction and it's not past like like it's interesting and you're like oh you know shit's gonna happen but then shit doesn't happen because it doesn't go to the next chapter and you're like well Paimon just heard that the Madra have arrested some Aramites who snuck into the city maybe they were the ones plotting to kidnap the Ching let's go to the Just teleport upward because it's a, it's much easier to just fucking throw my ass that way. Like I'm thinking, I'm gonna read manga, like you know, at home and shit. Ow. And then the manga, the books, because I have like five mangas to go through plus the one that I'm about to finish, so six. And then I have the, because I got um, an online book thingamabob, so I'm downloading that and I'm reading that. Ah, shit. Maybe if I just follow the, fuck. See, this is what I was talking about! Fucking nonsense. Let's play. I don't know why I did that thinking. Okay, maybe it'll be fine. But it wasn't fine. It wasn't me falling into uh, the gut. You're here. Sorry, I was just about to send someone to inform you. I only just finished interrogating the suspects. What did you find out? Well, Lots of unexpected details, let's put it that way. The mercs themselves were surprisingly easy to catch. We just had someone dress up as Sachin and they took the bait. But then it starts to get messy. During the interrogation, we learned that they were hired by Sachin's own child. What? Why would someone want to kidnap their own father? What's up with that? It's anybody's guess at this point. In any event, apparently the guys we caught are just the tip of the iceberg. Most of them are still snooping around outside the city. We're diverting manpower as we speak to try and round them all up. Would you like to come along? Sure! Let's go get to the bottom of all this! Okay. Boop. Boop. At least I can teleport here. Yay. Teleportation. Fast travel. Um. Hmm. It is 11. I'm debating on if I should... You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna end this episode here. Once we get, once we log in. Okay, we're gonna end this episode here. I'm gonna do one more episode, not that you guys would notice, for tonight, and then I'm going to just do manga and do, you know, just my chill time. My only concern is that, you know, it is gonna take me a while to fucking do this shit. But we're like almost there, so it's not too awful a situation that I'm currently. Come on, let's get. Oh, I'm, okay. We're on the third act. Okay, so actually, yeah, I'm doing pretty good then. If this is the third act, then it's going to be constantly back and forth with me. And so I think it's pretty good though. So I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing fine. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to end this episode here. So for now, Tiny's We're not frozen in place up. after all. <laughs>